Our nation's research universities have provided a wealth of ideas and talent that has driven innovation and economic growth in America since World War II. Countless advances can be traced back to our research universities. Digital computers, the web, advanced electronic devices, and cures for disease, to name just a few. Today, many in Congress are asking us to reconsider how much we spend to maintain this stunningly successful engine of innovation. But cutting corners is not an option if we want to ensure the continued growth of our economy, our standard of living, and our leadership in the world. The students working in our labs help to uncover new knowledge that leads to new applications. They are also being prepared for a lifetime of creativity and productivity as scientists, engineers, physicians, entrepreneurs, educators, and artists. These are the people who shape our future. We can't shortchange them or ourselves. If Congress cannot find a way to avoid sequestration, the resulting deep across-the-board cuts in federal support for this innovative research would do permanent damage to our nation's ability to compete. We live in a global economy with a growing number of strong international competitors. If we pull back now from investing in our future, we will lose ground that will be difficult, if not impossible, to regain. It would be a mistake to try to save our way out of these difficult economic times. Never has it been more important for Congress to sustain our investment in research and even to expand it. It's the engine that drives our economy. Let's not let it run out of gas.